baby, for today. Just walk right in here. Relative humidity. Let's go look at the proper altitude. Remember, here's your altitude in meters, so you know, 32 to 34,000 feet. We're looking right in there. We'll come over, and what's the humidity level? God, 19, 20, 16, 15 percent, 12. I mean, that's it. Okay? It's got to be 55 to 65 percent. I mean, 55 to 60 percent or higher. Persistent contrails cannot form under that. Right? They can't form at 45%. They can't form at 40%. There might be some ice crystallization, you know, that would be visible, but, uh, you know, when you get down here at this level, there basically shouldn't be any contrails at all. You know, just real short dissipating ones. But what did we see? Perpetual contrails. True persistent spreading contrails of the detestable quality. What it, what's the humidity level? That's the humidity level. Nothing froze. There's no, no freezing up there today. <laughs> this is late, late May. So, at any rate, and it's continually giving returns all the way up to a much higher altitude, and at which point those levels drop. So, no, no freezing of the, of the radio sound there. All right, let's go take a look outside here. That's your jet trail. It is spreading. It is completely persistent, which is the understatement word for perpetual. And what did we find the humidity levels to be? Uh, a third of what they must be for a genuine, naturally occurring persistent contrail. Time we can be sure about that. <laughs> you know, ready then. I do. We don't measure it that way anymore. But <laughs> All right, well, the, as I said on in, in telecast, we would have white slime coming, and we have white slime, and best of all, chemtrails. A pair of trailers. Not a lot, but enough. Okay, onward. Also notice the frozen and lucite effect in the sky. See this cloud. It's virtually no movement in them. It's like a it's still so photo. Okay, here's some pretty clear, but the good news is they're coming out, boy. They are coming out. Maybe we can look at plane finder that guy. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. It's the twenty Sunday the twenty fifth. All right, so there I am. <laughs> Right, I think I just bisected my house. And who is it? What's that guy right there? From, where is he from? London. So he's loaded up there, British Airways. Interesting, and then released here. I would construe that as a violation of the uh, 70s treaty. No chemtrailing except over one's own country. You know, that can you actually use other people's planes from other countries if it's released over your country? <laughs> it's one thing to load your own up overseas and release it here. It's another to have, you know, Lufthansa or British Airways doing it. All right, that's right near me. So what we got? I'm going to have to be fast because I'm running out of tape. Relative humidity, at the proper altitude. What do we have? Oh, yeah, man. Massive chemtrails in the in the... And the uh, humidity is extremely low, right? That are frozen. See? I'm just going to watch for a second because I'm running out of tape. It's like, I don't, it doesn't get any more stationary than that. But what do we also have right there? That's a persistent contrail right there. So, uh, that, the humidity levels are far, far, far too low to possibly support that. And you also see there's white slime up there as well. See it between the, above those cumulus clouds right in there? Humidity levels are far, far, far too low to support that too. So it just shows you it's their junk floating round and round. There's a good shot of it right there. That's one right there. It's a shred they released. Control is all about. It's frozen in lucite. Might as well be a still photograph. 
Man, this is pretty typical. Quite typical. 325, check this. All right, this is great. Watch this. It's a team of two. Right, see the two trails? Notice the different color. One's blue, the other's brown. You can't this, see it? There are two of them right there. They're practically running into each other. See it? Right there and right there. It's definitely magnetic powder and I'm going to run in. Here comes another pair right behind them. See the collisions along the line? Okay. I don't want to waste a lot of tape. There's two of them. Those guys are right side by side. Right there. One kind of dissipating. Big boy going the whole way. And they got a third one right behind them right there. So let's go see if any of these guys are on. That's totally a team. There were two teams. Two different types of trails. See, one left is the magnetic on, on the right side, that pair, and then the one right next to it, the different coloration, that's your cloud making material. So let's go check in, check it, see the different coloration? Like right next to each other, that's brownish and that's white. And then you can tell, you can actually see the shadow of the jet on the white slime, so it shows you they're right exactly there. All right, that's a pretty good catch. Still not dissipating the other one. Right? How come one, you know what I mean? How can two of them stay forever and the other two just go right away? Huh? They're right all together. I just ran right inside. There we are. Hallelujah. There we go. Rome, Charlotte. There it is. U.S. Airways. This one. We don't have a pair, just one. Here's another one that might be one of them uh, from uh, New York to Charlotte. It's right over me, so that's one of them. But their partners are not present. Is it 32? But it's not that guy. That's not the right pack. Both the ones that we do have on, they had both had partners. They're both U.S. Airways. All right. My, now my loyal opposition has a real serious problem. Two, two. You know, a pair, two teams of two. And one, both of them demonstrated two different types. One dis was magnetic type dissipating. The other formed the big cloud making crud. They both did that. Both of them had two different colorations, brown and blue. You could say, oh, it's a different fuel type. What's the chance of a coincidence of both the pair of teams having that? Uh-huh, yeah, now you got a problem. Oh, and of the pair, uh, of, of the two pairs, right, only one jet of each pair showed up on Plane Finder. Both of the teams were precisely belly surfing the slime, the white slime, Fall Cirrus, and with a humidity level of, you know, under 20%, probably more like 6 or 7%. So, uh, and again, what does that also show? That the white slime is always the same altitude, that jet cruise altitude. So, there's your problem, folks. Yeah, right. We, uh, we, there's got some spalaning to do. This 